Hey guys, Matt Greer here, and I'm at Talon at Desert Ridge, and this is a neighborhood built by DR Horton as well as a few others, but I'm in the DR Horton section right now, and this is actually really cool. I'm gonna give you a tour of the Phoenician. Now, this tour is gonna be a little different than the others, because I'm normally taking you into just these absolutely beautiful finished models. Now, this home is not a model yet, but it will be soon, and I wanted to show it to you first, and I got a great relationship with DR Horton, and so they allowed me to come through. So the Phoenician is 3,244 square feet, four bedroom, uh, actually can be a four bedroom plus. And what's cool about it is it's got the primary bedroom on the first floor, and then on the second floor, there's also a bedroom with an ensuite. So you're gonna have to bear with me on this one, because like I said, it's not a model yet. They're finishing it up. So there's a few things that are gonna be a little out of place. Uh, but if you're interested in this, give me a call. We'll get you in, show you a finished one. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think. So here is the front of the house. Very nice, I love the porch. One thing I like about the porch is it's actually deep enough to put chairs on. I think back to the first home I bought, my porch was probably little not as wide it definitely wasn't as wide I couldn't put a chair on there if you're like me I like to sit on the porch so that was a real bummer so anyways like I said they're still getting this one ready but you saw it here first I'll come back once it's done but I just wanted to show you guys this floor plan because it is amazing so you've got this area right here and this is a really cool space um, you can take it I mean, if you wanted, like, I look at a house like this and I just see different opportunities. This could be a formal dining room. You could even finish the wall if you wanted. Well, I gotta talk with the R1 and see if they would do it. Make it its own bedroom. Uh, but, you know, things you could always do after. If you know me, I like to flip houses, so I'll do stuff like that. <laughs> but I like that space. That's a nice closet right there. Now, right here, You've got laundry on the first floor, okay? That's your garage entry right there. They're all locked on these homes because that's where they store all their stuff. But you come in and just look at how big this space is. I mean, that is a scaffold to get up there. Got all these windows. <laughs> like I said, not my typical home tour, but I wanted you guys to see this first. Now, you've got this kitchen, the stove is getting installed right now. And then, obviously a fridge will go in there. But it's just really cool to see how this stuff is built. I don't know, I kind of nerd out on this. I really like this. All the cabinets go around the fridge. It's got this area right there for you to place stuff, like see someone's hook up there. <laughs> Walking pantry. Beautiful lighting in here as well. So obviously the stove's gonna go back in there. Got your dishwasher there next to the sink. Very nice. This is cool too. I really like these. Hit your button for the disposal. People, people always wonder when you've got like a island sink where the off button is for the stove, or for the disposal, it's right there. All right, you've got the integrated microwave and oven. And you've got this area right here, which is cool because this is like a dining area, like really just a normal dining area where you just have breakfast right here, right next to the table where you make everything. It's great design. You can see high ceilings in here. And what's cool is they get really high. So we up there. I'm gonna take you over here to the primary budget. Oh, before we do that, let me just show you this. I like this kind of private back here. This powder room. It's nice. It's, you know, you have people over. I think the bathroom right there where everyone can see them going in there. It's kind of weird. Linen closet. But anyways, I don't have that issue with this bathroom. Sorry, I'm all over the place. This place is cool. So right here, primary bedroom. Now, what's cool is how big this room is. And you can hear it's echoing. Come here into the bathroom. And 
and this ensuite is amazing. I really like that. They've got the stone incorporated. Or I should say tile. So I say something wrong on here and I, I get the comments. I know, it's tile, sorry guys. But anyways, you've got this cool shower design like they have. Got the water handle right there so you can turn it on as you're coming in and as you're going out. Very nice, very nice. Very large mirror so you can see your favorite real estate agent or get ready in the morning when you live here. Dual vanity, you'll notice there's a lot of space. Like there's a lot of separation between the two. It's nice if you're the person who puts a lot of stuff on that counter, you got the counter space. Okay, got a linen closet, really nice. It's nice to have that on top of a normal closet. Right in here, you got your powder room. This is cool too. This fan has a timer. <laughs> if you have to leave with that fan on, you don't want to run it all day. There you go. Now, here is your walk-in closet. It's pretty good size. I like that. What's cool is there's a lot of space. Like if you wanted to add towards like closets, I really like it when they leave them like this where they've got what you need, but then if you wanted to do further customization, there is room, like you could put some amazing built-ins in here. I like that, because you know, builders, they only do so much. Part of that is they want to leave somewhat of an empty palette so that you can come in and do more stuff, make the home yours. So I like seeing that in that uh, closet. Obviously they don't leave it too empty because this kitchen but there is just so much space in here you guys and these high ceilings just make it seem even more spacious I mean you can see the light coming in beautiful it's that Vermeer light they always talk about we're gonna go up the stairs you can see <laughs> still working on it they got the plastic on the stairs but let's go on up And first thing that hits me is when I get up here, this loft is huge. I mean, there's just a ton of space. What I like too is, I mean, you walk in here and you see all those, uh, a lot of people will come in and be like, what is all of that? Well, entertainment center down there, wall mounted TV up there. We've got a plug for the TV, plug for the entertainment center that right there so that you can run the wire through the wall down to everything. Not have wires everywhere. All right, very nice, very well thought out. It's good, clean design. And then we're gonna go over here into this bedroom. Well, first I'm just gonna show you. Got a linen closet. It's one of those things you can never have too many of. I feel like me, I like to use one for like all the board games one for lemons but come on in you've got this bedroom and this is that bedroom that I was talking about that's almost like a secondary primary bedroom is it's got this walk-in closet and then it's got its own ensuite now this is nice because this home is very spacious and you know, if you've got kids still living at home, something like that, if they're married, give them this room. Or, you know, if you've got other relatives living with you, you can give them this room and they can be in here self-contained. Very nice. Just, it's good. You're thinking about things. I personally would probably give it to my daughter. <laughs> now, like I said, this was a four bedroom plus. That is because of this room right here. What is cool is this could be used as like a game room, an entertainment room. There are a lot of possibilities in here. But you'll notice there's no closet. And that's why it's like a four plus. But you have this room, it doesn't have a closet. Put the, the window up there, but you know, it's just not quite a bedroom. So just a cool design. I like it, uh, just because it's nice to have that separate area for, I mean, for example,
example, my son loves playing Minecraft. I might make this into like a game room if I had it. He plays video games in here. Actually, that's exactly what I do. I put pinball machines over there. Anyways, I'm not the one buying this house. Hopefully you are. So it's up to you. But right over here, you've got this bathroom. What is cool is you've got these bedrooms right here and they've got their own bathroom. You know, with the shower, dual vanity sink. Nice cabinets, nice lighting. Just a good home. Over here into this bedroom. And what is cool is this bedroom has a walk-in closet as well. Still installing the light up there, but walk-in closet, very nice. And you've got this bedroom right over here. And it has a very big walk-in closet as well. And then the room itself is very spacious. Very spacious, it's pretty nice. home you see four bedroom plus nice big loft this whole area scaffolding not included and everything down there just absolutely lovely home great design very functional home I really like that so if you're interested in this home you want to come check it out uh, maybe see another one that they have built give me a call I'm happy that I was able to show this one to you guys first. Um, like I said, I like working with DR Horton. Sold a couple of their homes and uh, I absolutely love it when you guys are interested and you give me a call and uh, I'm able to help you out with it. So if you are interested, like I said, give me a call. There's a few other builders in here. So I would take you around to the other builders, show you what there is uh, as well as what's in the area. So don't be a stranger. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe always putting videos out like this of the different homes in the area. So thanks for watching.